the impulse to restrict speech is a slippery slope, but a dangerous one. I is it, more is speech it, is better. Is it really? Okay. But do you think? Do you think? Got so it. you you actually think that tw- uh, X is the place of free speech? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, th- I think I, I think I, I mean I, I don't know why you would argue otherwise. Is it not? Okay. It's, I, I uh, think before I think before he took it over, it was I, it was not a great place for conservatives, and now it's a great place for everybody. I, I, I mean, Sir Michael, are you worried about some of the people who are coming into some very important roles uh, in the new Trump no, administration? No, no, I'm not. When you win elections, you have the obligation to choose who you want. I mean, no, no one's thinking about what happened four years ago. Where people are thinking about the present and they're thinking about the future, Jim. And when you win president, the election, just like when Joe Biden won, Joe Biden was able to choose whoever the heck he wanted. I didn't like all of the people. Many Republicans didn't like all of the people. Donald Trump has the obligation and the authority as a president elect to do the same darn thing. And some Democrats aren't going to like it either. And my advice would be to get over it just as we had to get over it nearly four years ago when we lost the election. My goodness gracious. Yes, the Republicans are going to control the House of Representatives. But if all the current results hold up, we're looking at a record small majority after the Novembers in the last 90 years. You have to go all the way back since the Herbert Hoover administration to find an even smaller majority after the November elections. We're talking about the Republicans with 220 seats, Democrats with 215 if the current House results hold. And keep in mind that this will drop lower if Stefanik, Waltz, or others like Matt Gates leave the Congress. Yeah, talk to me. This is sort of the best case scenario for Republicans, at least for the next few weeks or months, where could it go? Where could it go? It could shrink either, even further. So let's say Gates, Stefanik, and Waltz resigns. We could be looking at, get this, Republicans at 217, the Democrats at 215, and I went all the way back. Look, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy, right? Because all it means is Democrats at 215 plus one GOP seat could tank the entire thing because then they both sides would be at 216 seats, John. One Republican vote for the first few weeks, maybe months of the administration could be enough to sink a measure. I mean, mean, how historically unprecedented it is. You might have noticed in my last answer, I was so excited. I nearly got ahead of myself, nearly got ahead of myself. How historically unprecedented it is. I love history. So times just one majority member could sink a bill by voting with the minority in the last 100 years plus. This, possibly 2025, with the likely resignations from the House, and that's it. It's literally the only time in the last 100 years, assuming, of course, all members vote. So the bottom line is, look, the results from the November elections weren't exactly good for Democrats, but this is a shining light for them. They really did hold the Republican majority down, and given the likely resignations that are coming, that House of Representatives for for the Republicans, that House majority is going to be record, record small. Just to be clear, that only holds until they fill the Gates seats, which is safe Republican, fill the Wall seats, safe Republican. Stefanik, a matter for another time. We'll talk about what what could happen there. Harriet, great to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Kate? 